The consequences of our waterproof cities become devastatingly clear during a heavy downpour. What begins as a simple rain shower can quickly escalate into a serious urban crisis. The sheer volume of water running off our roofs, roads and car parks overwhelms the drainage systems we've built. These pipes, designed for a certain capacity, simply cannot cope. Water backs up, and with nowhere else to go, it spills out onto our streets. Roads become rivers, and low-lying areas are transformed into murky lakes. This is what we call a flash flood. It is a sudden and dramatic event, a direct result of rainwater being unable to soak into the ground where it falls. These floods do more than just cause inconvenience, they bring chaos and destruction. Businesses are forced to close, homes are inundated, and vital infrastructure like transport and power can be severely damaged. The financial cost of repairing this damage is immense, but the human cost is greater still. People can be displaced from their homes, and their livelihoods can be washed away in a matter of hours. Furthermore, this water is not clean. As it rushes across the urban landscape, it picks up all manner of pollutants. Oil and heavy metals from our cars, pesticides from gardens, and general litter are all swept up into this torrent, creating a toxic cocktail that flows through our streets. Beyond the visible chaos of street-level flooding, another, more insidious problem is occurring beneath our feet. In many older cities, the pipes designed to carry rainwater are the same ones that carry sewage from our homes. This is known as a combined sewer system. Under normal conditions, all this waste and water is transported to a treatment plant to be cleaned. But during a heavy storm, the system is completely overwhelmed. To prevent sewage from backing up into our houses and streets, these systems are designed with emergency overflows. When they are triggered, a disgusting mixture of raw sewage and polluted rainwater is discharged directly into our rivers and oceans. This act of pollution has a catastrophic impact on the natural world. Rivers that should be teeming with life become contaminated with bacteria and chemicals, killing fish and other aquatic creatures. The delicate ecosystems that depend on clean water are poisoned, sometimes irreversibly. The very waterways that are often the heart and soul of a city, places for recreation and connection to nature, become hazardous zones. We are, in effect, poisoning our own environment simply because our cities are not equipped to handle a natural event like a rainstorm. The problem is clear. Our traditional way of managing urban water is failing